Hey everybody, Bright Sun. Bright Sun. We're back here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and we've been here six, seven times. I've seen a lot of photos, so it's very easy to get a good photo here in Batu. Uh, but everybody's getting their photos in front of the Falcon. Everybody's getting their photos in front of the high echelon. We're gonna help you up Instagram game here and to find out some some photo spots and some tips that you wouldn't otherwise know. Come along with us. Let us show you the ways. I don't know why I keep doing that with my fingers in every video. <laughs> Subscribe, you will. You will watch our video. So this one's kind of hidden. It's over by the Rise of the Resistance ride, which isn't open yet. And it is an actual Resistance map from the movies that you could take your photo with. And it actually looks a lot cooler at night, but we're gonna go see how it looks during the daytime. Because I think this one, not a lot of people know about. One of the cool photo options here that a lot of people don't know about are the holograms. You can get these holograms at PhotoPass Photographers. There's two of them. Uh, you just got one with yeah, a I got Porg? Yeah, I got the Porg one, and it's super secretive. You have to go up to the PhotoPass Photographer by the X-Wing in the resistance area and ask if you could get your picture taken with the hologram Porg. Yeah. The Porgs hang out over here and they can like, take a photo holding them. Huh. Well, I haven't seen any out here per se, but I know we can do holograms. It takes a little bit longer to get your photos because yeah. I, I'm sure someone's adding them in the back somewhere, but they're yeah. super cool. So getting your photo taken with the TIE Fighter is really cool, but there's another hologram over here that you could get. You could get Salacious Crumb, who's my personal favorite. So we're gonna try to get our photo with him right now. Well, it's not Salacious Crumb because Salacious Crumb died in Return of the Jedi. Nerd it's one alert. Of his relatives. Yes. It's one of the Quakian monkey lizard yes. types. But he's hanging out over here, so let's get his photo. We heard a rumor that we could get a hologram with yeah. that whole face with you. Yeah. So nice. We heard correctly. Let's talk about PhotoPass photographers. Yes. Let's talk about them. I've had good and lo bad luck with PhotoPass photographers. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. You could get a great flattering photo, or you could get a very unflattering photo, um, especially when they use the flash. Uh, but one of the cool things with PhotoPass photographers in Batu is they have their own unique PhotoPass cards. And another really cool feature when doing the PhotoPass is when you go into the app, there's actually like borders and like saying like things that you could write on the photos like Yeah, a lot I didn't of people know don't about know that. about this yeah. like you can have like these customized borders that like have like grand opening and all that stuff um, Really easy to find once you know where to look in your PhotoPass app But it's not something that everybody knows about. So you could put that you were here on opening day even though you weren't Yeah, well I think grand opening is kind of grand opening season Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right <laughs> One thing that I've noticed too is that the photo pass photographers, you just gotta let them do their thing because they can get really creative with your photos. Yeah, we, we've seen some that have done like, told me to pose in di interesting different angles. And there's also like ones that like, my friend Allie like was using the force to grab her lightsaber. Yeah, that one's really cool. It's pretty cool. Right outside of the marketplace is a Instagram spot that a lot of people don't know about. It's located right next to the marketplace, right over here. I think it's what we're calling the gigantic wall or the gigantic doors. And this is a really cool place to get your photo. It looks very Star Wars. A lot of people do that thing where you jump up and look like you're getting force choked. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You're not doing that? No. Well, we could try, but we'll see. <laughs> You just gotta watch out because this is a backstage area right here. That's where a lot of uh, the cast members come out of. So you gotta watch out, not in, not get in their way. It's a cool looking photo. And especially, this is one of those photos that you wanna get back. You wanna have some scope to this. It looks 
great at nighttime. You might actually be wondering what this door is for. Uh, it's actually for like emergency support vehicles and cleaning vehicles so that they can actually get vehicles to drive into Galaxy's Edge. So it does serve a pur purpose, but it's actually also a very cool photo spot. Another cool photo spot that many people don't know about is located here at Savi's. This is where you build your own lightsaber. So with all the vehicles in Galaxy's Edge, they all have like a barricade around them and you can't get close except for this one. This one you could actually ride on and it's a speeder from Solo, a Star Wars story. photogenic and make you feel like you're actually in Star Wars. This one is very popular and it's located right across from Oga's Cantina. And this one I've seen a lot of photos It looks cool at night too. So definitely if you're here at night, give this one a shot. Yeah, those lights on the side yeah, light and up. Like, and it, it makes it very cinematic. Yeah. So it turns out that there's actually another really cool door right to the right of the milk stand that is perfect for your Star Wars Galaxy's Edge photos. There's another big wall that people like getting photos in front of right next to first order cargo. But there's usually a lot of people hanging out like leaning against the, the wall with their stroller. So it's, it's a lot harder to get a good photo over here. At Disney World, Space Mountain has the purple wall. In Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, we have the blue stripe wall. This is a wall that looks so uniquely Star Wars and a lot of people like to get photos in front of it. It's right next to Droid Depot. There's also another door, so you could stand like right in the door next to the wall if you want. Everybody gets their photos in front of the Millennium Falcon, uh, but the best tip I can give you is, especially if you have a lightsaber, if you build a lightsaber here, bring it to the Millennium Fal Falcon at night. Light it up. Ask the photographers to do it without a flash. Yeah, that because, is the money shot. Yeah, that is awesome. I'm going to put some footage here of that you can see me getting my photo with them, the money in Falcon at night with my saber. With that saber lighting up your face, it's just awesome. Also, getting it with, if, you, if you're here, lucky enough to be here when the fireworks go off, don't be afraid to stand in and get your photo taken because they will take your photo during the fireworks show. And that those are some awesome. And they will wait. They will stand there and wait for the fireworks to explode behind you to get that perfect shot for you. And not only that, everybody's looking at the fireworks. So there's actually a smaller yeah, line no usually. Yeah, one's thinking to get their photo there. Yeah, it's awesome. The it space is. wars are going on above your head. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people want to get photos when they are aboard the Millennium Falcon. And a lot of people get the photos at the chess table. That's where, where most of the photos, if you're basic, you get a photo over here at the chess table like I did. But we're gonna show you where you can get some cooler photos. Right here's a spot that's famous to Star Wars canon. This is a spot where Han and Leia kiss. So you could quickly snap a photo right in front of the spot. And I, by the way, I love the EXO right here. Now the problem with the kissing spot is that if you ask a cast member, they're probably gonna tell you no. It's right in a loading area. Yeah, they, so, they're hurrying people and they don't want you to stop there. Yeah, so I don't want to condone messing with people and messing with the workflow here. We'll but just do, could, we'll just do Yeah, this. but you quickly just go grab a photo there. I think they won't mind, but I, I would, I would ask for forgiveness, not permission. Okay, so a better way to do it is when you're getting off the Money and Falcon Smugglers Run ride, there's a spot right here behind us. Yeah. It's a spot where Katy Perry got a photo. Uh, Katy yeah. Perry got her right photo? Right there. Yeah, but there's a lot less people, a lot less uh, foot traffic here, and it's, it's a good spot and it looks like you're in the one in Falcon. I think that does it for today's video. Yeah, uh, so there's a ton of new photo locations that you and tips you learned about here. And there's oh. nobody here right now at this photo spot, so like, 
It's super secret. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Um, if you have any tips that we don't know about, please leave them in the comments below. Yeah, we would love more reasons to come back here. Yeah. More things to experience and see. So let us know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yes. And uh, if you want to be alerted of more of our videos, our content from Galaxy's Edge, theme parks, and Star Wars and movies, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.